Hi, Tetracycloid here. I'm doing a video to test the difference between fire and poison damage on melee hits. It's a question I get a lot, and I thought it would be nice to make a video that demonstrates that there's no damage difference between poison and fire when it comes to melee. So, to do this, I've crafted a very special set of epic armor. This isn't optimized gear, this isn't the way I would normally build a warrior, but what we do have is a perfect set of stats to have perfectly balanced poison and fire damage. With as much crit damage as we can, as much warrior damage as we can, as much damage with swords as we can, while still keeping that parity between fire and poison damage. Now the reason I'm doing that is because we want to make any differences between poison and fire readily apparent at maximum possible scaling. So that if poison is very small difference between fire, um, or if one is slightly better than the other, that these large multipliers should make those big differences easier, to, or those small differences easier to see by pushing them into the significant digits. So we have 252 warrior damage, we have 120% damage with swords, uh, we have 675% crit damage and a 100% chance to crit, and most important of all for this test, we have 205% fire and 205% poison. Fire's just a little bit bigger, uh, at 0.2. I don't think that 0.2 is really going to matter. Uh, and the reason for that is because the Fire Mastery perk has 40% fire on it, and the Poison Mastery perk only has 25. Uh, so in my actual masteries, I have taken significantly less fire damage than I have poison damage. And that's one thing that you'll have to factor into your builds, is that there is slightly more fire damage from ability points. Um, the other thing you would need to factor in for your builds is the location on the gear where fire and poison damage rolls. Now one of the reasons why I, in particular, prefer poison damage for warrior builds or assassin hybrid builds is because poison damage rolls on the torso, and after crit damage there just aren't very many good uh, damage mods to put on a torso. Uh, basically your second best mod after poison damage is all damage, and all damage just isn't that strong. Um, head and Waste are both relatively crowded slots. Uh, one rolls Fire, one rolls Poison, so that's kind of equal. Uh, boots have two crit stats, uh, which means Fire competes with every Legendary Boot mod. Um, so there's a couple in there that you might be interested in. Burning Rate's not bad. Intoxication Damage and Weakening Effect is not bad. Um, so I would say that it's a little bit easier to fit poison in for most warrior builds. Oh, also, um, damage with swords and daggers rolls on the head, and damage with staffs and spears rolls on the legs, and all four of those weapon types, their damage mods compete with fire damage, which means it's a lot easier to throw an extra poison damage in and still get those damage with mods uh, without having to drop any extra damage. All right, so let's get to it. What we're going to do here uh, is we're going to uh, take a whack at a couple of civilians in a row with our build. We're going to start with poison. We're going to try and do single light attacks from the front. And we're seeing mid, mid to low fives right now, 500Ks. Bunch of mid to low fives there. That was slightly bigger, although that was the second hit. Uh, something to consider when you're comparing damage types is that you always have to compare the same hit in a combo. You can't just be any hit in a combo. Um, because the damage from each hit in the combo is different. So it has to be same hit to same hit, or you're going to get inaccurate results. I'll get a couple more swings in here. Let's try fire. Mid fives. Mid fives. Five something. Couldn't quite see that one. Just 
do a quick load to get a crack at them before they start all running away. We're testing, after all. We don't want to make it any harder on ourselves than we have to. All right, just to make sure that I'm not doing any funny business, I'm going to show you the stats again. Fire damage, poison damage, same abilities, same masteries, same inventory details, everything the same. Alright, so this time we're going to try with fire. Mid to low fives, low fives. That was a 700 something. I have a feeling we caught that guy slightly from behind. Um, something to keep in mind is that there is a inherent damage bonus to striking something from behind. Heal up so we get the full benefit of our crit damage while full health. Low fives. Low fives. A little higher again. I think we caught that guy from behind. Yeah, those hits from behind are definitely stronger. But from the front, it looks like we're seeing roughly the same damage. Very, very, very similar damages. Just to get some from behind shots with poison. 700s, just like the fire. Low fives. Low fives. Alright, so what have we learned? I feel like we've shown pretty conclusively that fire and poison damage are adding roughly the same amount of damage to your warrior strikes. Uh, that in melee combat, the damage added on hit by fire and poison at equal percentages is roughly the same. Um, sample size isn't big enough to prove conclusively that the average is exactly the same, um, but it's very, if it's not exactly the same, it is extremely close. We didn't see any significant outliers from either that would suggest that poison is significantly lower, uh, or that poison is significantly higher, or that fire is significantly lower, or that fire is significantly higher. So what does that mean for our builds? What that means for our builds um, is there that we only need to consider two things and that is the effect of the damage over time um, the fire is going to help us finish off uh, straggler enemies that fire damage dot being larger is going to make it easier for us to have something tick down after we've disengaged with it um, because the fire damage over time is just bigger it's much bigger it's like double um, pretty close to double and if you want to you can even put the 50% burn rate on your boots um, and have it be even larger um, so that's one thing we should take away from it and the second thing we should take away from it is if we're going for straight up melee damage that if we're focusing min maxing exclusively for the on hit damage then our primary consideration um, given that poison and fire are almost identical um, shouldn't be the damage over time effects it should be where the stats roll on gear uh, now, again, poison rolls on torso and waist, fire rolls on head and legs, and because of that fact, and because the torso is so poorly itemized, 
uh, in terms of damage stats for melee damage. Uh, the second best stat here after poison being 10% all damage. Um, because that's so poorly optimized, it really doesn't make sense to go fire for damage types like swords, like daggers that want to roll on head alongside the fire mod, uh, like staffs, like spears that want to roll on legs alongside the fire mod, and these two crit stats. Uh, this slot, if you want to go staffs or spears, is very crowded. Um, the torso slot, on the other hand, very not crowded. Uh, it's very easy to slot in that poison damage there. So that's basically the main thing you should take away from this, uh, is that it really comes down to where the stats roll, and not the actual, not any actual differences between the damage, because there is no difference between the damage. Thank you, uh, that's all I have today, and goodbye.